Okay, so grab a block. If you don't have a block, which I'm sure you do, but if you don't have a block, you can also use a pillow or a bolster. We just need something to stack and pad the hips. So put that aside. You'll also need a strap or a rope tie. You can use a yoga strap, you can use a rope tie. Um, really anything that you can tie around your pyramid thigh bone is great. All right, so carefully, let's lay down on our back. All right. Now we'll lay all the way back on your back, bend your knees, put your heels in as close as you can to your sits bones, take your block. I want you to place it about halfway down your thigh. Okay. Take a deep breath in, tuck your pelvis so that your tailbone is, is pushed all the way down as low as it can. So if, you know, you can't stick anything underneath the small of your back. All right, knit your ribs in, belly in. Take a big breath in. On your exhale, squeeze your block. Like, feel the muscles hugging the bone, everything squeezing towards your midline, and then release. Again, breathe in. Breathe out, squeeze and hold. Breathe in, release. Breathe out, squeeze and hold. Two more times. Inhale. Exhale, squeeze. Beautiful. Last time. Take a deep breath in. Release your block. And exhale, squeeze. Feel the muscle hugging the bone. Fire up everything from your keel to your hip. And then release. Slowly remove the blocks, but stay where you are. We're going to a dancing bridge. So your heels are still as close as you can get them to your sits bones. And for me, it just depends how I'm feeling. Sometimes I'll take my arms over my head if it's too much, then I'll keep my arms very stable and sturdy right by my hips. All right, so same thing. Take a deep breath in. Slowly, bone by bone, we're peeling all the way up. Not trying to get anywhere too fast. Exhale, cervical spine all the way down. Thoracic coming all the way down to your lumbar. Beautiful. Let's do that four more times. Breathe in, take it up. Breathe out, take it down. Bone by bone, we're moving slow, like you're moving through water, intentional. Beautiful, exhale, come on down. We have two more just like this. Deep breath in, starting at the lowest vertebrae, peeling all the way up, bone by bone. And then exhale, come on down. And this last time, I want you to get super intentional about what's happening here. We're lifting through the hips, bone by bone. You feel yourself coming off the mat and then placing each vertebrae back down to the mat. Go slow. Empty out everything at the bottom of your butt. All right, with your eyes open, search around for your strap. So it's important that you don't get off of your back while you're doing the reset. So make sure everything's handy. All right. So we're taking this strap right where we put the block, but this time on the outsides of the legs. All right. What's going on with my strap? All right, here we go. So it's pretty taut. You probably have like a fist width distance in between your knees, maybe a little bit. Maybe a little bit more. Okay. Same thing. Deep breath in. And this is about maybe an inch, maybe two inches away from your knee. Deep breath in. Remember, your belly is in, your ribs are knitted back, and your hips are on the ground. Exhale out. Woo. Adduct. Inhale, release. On your exhale, squeeze. And our bones now are moving away from each other. Let's do that three more times. Breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, release. Exhale, breathe out. Two more times like this. In breath, my strap is very loose. Yours will be tighter. And exhale, squeeze out, adapt. Last time. Inhale, release, and exhale, squeeze. Inhale, come up. 
We're going to use your chest first, and then we'll rock to the left. Pause a moment and face with the shin. Send some love to the parts of your body that hurt. And then we'll push into the air. Okay. If you do it on your own at home, I don't want to see any of this. None of this. That's the worst thing you can do for your SI. So when you're exiting a pose, drop it to fetus, then come up. I hope this helps, girl. All my love. Namaste.